Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Chris and this is Regular Guy Training. Okay, so um, after my last review or extended review, because I, I tend to do these after I have anything for a number of years, um, you know, eventually, and yeah, I know I'm talking about a very small percentage of people that come out and that kind of thing, and they're sitting there like, oh, the optic that you're reviewing, there's no fucking way that there's 40,000 rounds on it, especially after a couple of years. And then they start listing the associated cost of stuff over the course of the over the course of those years, citing that they'll look at the little thing that says two years and say, oh, especially in a couple of years when they don't look at the actual extra months that add on to it. And even still, um, they'll start listing the associated cost with it and they'll be like, there's no fucking way you have had to shoot X number of rounds for X number of months and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and try this. Um, I started this channel as a YouTube channel first because I was super duper tired of 1000 rounds before a review being like a big deal, something completely unnecessary, something that was scoffed and laughed at because what am I going to do? Fire a thousand rounds through it. And then, similar reviews would come out about similar products where they'd fire no rounds through it and just give you essentially a a unboxing review of the fucking thing and sit there and be like ah i can tell based off of my very limited experience that this is a well-made pick a thing right and it would be like a taurus or something or a car or something awful okay um neat Right. So I got tired of that. And that's why, you know, when I first started the channel, it was a 1000 round minimum on everything. Right. Um, in addition to that, as time goes on, this evolved from I have a YouTube channel to I run a schoolhouse that happens to be YouTube central, uh, that happens to be YouTube central, that happens to have a YouTube channel bolted to it. Right. And here's the thing associated with that. Right. Here's the deal. This guy, turns out its service life is right around 40,000 rounds because, well, you can't do that. You can't delaminate glass and it doesn't just fall out of a friggin' optic if you haven't shot the bejesus out of it. So, I don't really have to go into this because guys that, that know me well enough and guys that have come out and trained and actually shoot their guns, uh, can see wear tear. They can see, you know, the, the the just a difference in how their guns are worn versus mine because I shoot the shit out of my guns. And there are students that I've handed equipment to use. Where if I have an experienced guy that comes through, I'll message him forward of all that and be like, "Hey, would you like to add round count on top of this? Because all I'm doing is demos." Uh, and typically speaking, if I have a three day or a two day or a four day set of classes, I'll undershoot the number of rounds that have been fired through it, even if I know that there's a bunch of change over it. Like for instance, if it's a 2800 round course set, right, and I know he's going home with a bunch of ammo, right, I'll just say, man, like 2500 instead of 2800 because it's not accurate and I'd rather undershoot than overshoot. If it's a 2100 round class and I know that dude is going home with with maybe, you know, I, I can see the bottom of his ammo can, but I don't want to overshoot. I'll be like, OK, like 1800 or whatever was shot through it instead so that I'm safe in the round count. So I'm not over reporting. OK, and what this turns into is when you have a 5000 round review from me. Okay, it's not something where it's very poor lighting that you can't see the inside of, that it's not off of something that is physically incapable of doing that round count in the first place. First thing that comes to mind is particularly AKs, because I'm an AK-centric person, I like them a lot, right? So when people were busting out 5,000 round tests of the RAST 47, calling it punishing and all that bullshit, um, there was only one that was legitimate in all that, and it was from Rob Ski, because the gun was falling apart. You know, uh, other similar tests were like, oh, the gods do it just fine when it was physically, metallurgically incapable of doing that round count. And the reason why I take such offense to this and the reason why it bothers me as much as I do is because I keep the receipts. OK, I log the number of rounds fired. I pay attention. If I buy ammunition, I assign a whole case to that thing and I don't use it for other stuff because I know the round count needs to be accurate because even if it's great and there's a failure point someplace, guys would like to know that information. For instance, 
I'm doing a long-term review on a Draco, and I'm using a borrowed one from somebody else because the one that I used and the one that I ran went a tick over 30,000 rounds, and I ran it at its capable cyclic rate so goddamn hard that I eroded the fucking uh, gas block or gas port to such a point where it doesn't cycle anymore. You don't do that without actually shooting the guns. More to follow on that later. You don't have a, delamina a delaminization of the stuff that holds freaking glass in place unless you shoot the freaking gun a lot. Now, the reason why this chaps my ass in the way that it does, because I've gotten comments like this more than once, is simply this. Somebody is going to take my recommendations and buy the thing that I recommend. That person, whether he's coming home from his line cook job or has it bolted to a rifle in a far away, in a far away land someplace, that's got to work for that person. Or I need to give that son of a bitch the best roll of the dice that I can give for a man-made product because eventually that person's getting into a shoot. That's the mentality that I have when I do all of this stuff. It's the reason why I don't take mainline sponsorships. And if a piece of gear is provided, I don't let whoever's providing it provide ammunition or anything like that because every single thing that comes out of my mouth is going to be my opinion. Okay? It's from the data that I see. So many people are bought and paid for that it's pathetic to the point where there are a lot of very, very highly praised, lauded pieces of gear that I would actually come out here, run, beat the brakes off of in very short order and be like, why the fuck has this been recommended? Okay? It is not often that you run into people, okay, that will send you a text that's a paragraph long asking about and, and talking about all these purposes and that kind of stuff. And at the very end of all that whole paragraph of why they're looking at a piece of thing, their purpose for it, everything that they're looking for, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, what do you think about this right at the end? And you send them a single word answer back that's like, no, or a, f a couple of words. It's like, go get it. And that's just over with. There's a responsibility inherent in just being taking at your word like that, because I'm telling you, I would not be able to sleep well if I recommended a Taurus to some asshole that failed him when he needed it most. Okay? Because when I recognize that whether it's some guy in a comment section or somebody that comes out and trains with us, if that guy receives a recommendation or if he's told that his equipment is likely to fail at pick a thing, he's going to believe me. Because he knows I'm left-handed, but I spent 18 months straight right-handed. That it doesn't matter which hand I use now. Because I took the time to train real hard and spend the bullets required to be proficient with both of those hands. That guy is aware of the fact that a lot of times, more than a few times at this point, I would put out contrary information to what is hyped and lauded as the next latest greatest thing. And I'm like, no, this actually failed us more than once. They take that seriously, which is why I do, and why little comments like, oh, there's no way you shot that number of rounds through it. Yeah, you know what? That's actually correct. Because I under-report constantly if I can't have an exact count based off a receipt that I assigned a case of ammunition to. Chances are, if you get a round count for me, it's under-reported. Because I'm not the only one that shoots this equipment. Students do too. It's to the point where some guys are like, oh, you're doing a review on that? Oh, I would absolutely love to run that thing through class. Let's see if we can break it. Like, it's a running joke. Where it's like, oh... Oh, it seems good, but let's, let's see if it's worth it. And that's what annoys the shit out of me the most, because these people that run their mouth more than they run their guns decide that they're going to little type up in little comment sections. And you know what? No, this shouldn't bother me. It shouldn't, okay? But sometimes there are certain things that make you petty as hell, and this is one of those things. Now, I say that to say this. All of this costs money. I'm aware of that. It's also a tax write-off for me, so it's a little bit easier because I run a business. And truth of the matter is, is that every round I fire, every optic I buy, and all of that, yeah, that costs money, and I don't get a I don't get a ton of that back. But yeah, I'm writing it off on my taxes because that is associated with the training business. Pretty easy. Okay, so here is. 
the deal, right? Coming off of that soapbox, we have classes that are open, open enrollment stuff. The private classes that I announced that I do, okay, have taken up a bunch of my time, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing fewer videos, because you guys like to take up my random Tuesdays, which isn't a problem for me. It just slows production here. That's all that is. But if you want to contact me for either, but if you want to contact me for a private class, emails on the website. Link for that is in the description below. If you want to sign up to an open enrollment class to include our night vision class and our Alabama class that's coming up, and the Georgia class that has two slots left, and several others that are open, okay, you can do that too. If you want to support us through Patreon, link in the description below for that. And you know what? If you don't want to do like a monthly thing, if you don't want to sign up for $41 a month, get as much training as you can friggin' stomach or travel to, okay? In this video, if you if you want to just throw me a couple of bucks to be like, you know what? Go buy a friggin' C4 or something, or please go buy more creatine. You've looked like a skeleton your whole life. Please undo that skeletonness, please. You can do that too by going underneath this video and checking out the little super thanks thing. Okay, you can also write a little comment and it'll feature your comment if you throw a couple of bucks at me there. Point is, is that if you want to support us because we are self-funded, we don't take sponsorships, and we absolutely don't take money from people, you can do that. And of course, if you want to check us out on Facebook, you can do that by checking out the link in the description below also. Because we take this seriously, okay? And every round that we fire to test a product, because it isn't a me anymore, it's a we. Every round that we fire to test a product, we do take it seriously in that regard. Only things that work last here a couple of years. And even though I ripped the glass out of this thing, or screwed up the gas port in a Draco that I owned for a while to the point where it doesn't cycle anymore, what took it to that point is still something that I will recommend to people because it got right to the point, for instance, in the Draco, that that barrel was going to die really soon one way or another. The gas port just decided to go first. Probably because I was firing at an AK cyclic rate for as often as I, as I, I had at that point. So... If you want to support us, that's great. Links for all that are in the uh, all for all of that are in the description below. If you want to if you want to drop a super thanks in the thing, great. And otherwise, remember, a regular guy's firearm is the last defense against tyranny. Be easy.